Check out this crazy animation I did with one of the most underrated AI apps out there. It will turn your text or images into a super stylish artistic AI video. <laughs> that was crazy, but this one is super easy to replicate. First up, you want to record a video where some kind of action happens. So in my example, I just quickly moved towards the camera. Next, go to the editing software and move to the frame where you want the animation to begin and simply take a screenshot. This will serve as our starting point for our cool AI effect. Next, I go to a website called Kyber and I upload the images and I simply have to choose from one of their presets. So first up, I describe what is present in the scene and I had mostly used the example prompt that the website suggested to me. Cool. On the bottom right here, there are a few cool illustration presets that I can choose. I don't really want to create anything super photorealistic as I have that reference frame of myself. So let's maybe choose that watercolor preset right here. Actually, let's just add one detail that I am a Caucasian looking person with a beard as this anime animation style often tend to look a bit Japanese otherwise and I want it to more closely resemble myself. And after playing around with the presets a few times, I decided to pick up this Meteora graffiti preset as it looks a bit like a cartoon and creates quite cool results. In the next window, I can define how long I want the animation to be. So let's keep it at 8 seconds and I can choose the camera movement. So I'm choosing to zoom in. And below you have a slider that says evolve where I can basically tell the AI on how crazy it will go. So I try to keep it relatively low and set it to a value of 4. In the next window, I can pick one of the frames that I like and that will be our beginning frame. So let's pick the cartoon character that looks most similar to myself. Next, the website will generate the video for you and you can replay it and download it. The AI will then generate this really cool effect for you within a couple of minutes. And after you've done, simply download your video file and then you want to import it back into your editing software. Now you want to pick the animation and simply drop it right on top of the video layer right after you took that screenshot. And the AI animation will start right there. So let's replay it one more time. Wow, that looks super trippy and cool and it took me almost no effort. You can also use this to replace an entire video with AI. So for example, I could pick the part where I'm talking into the camera and replace that with a cool AI animation that looks like a drawing or animation or something. Pretty cool, right? I noticed that my lip movement seemed a little bit challenging to replicate, so let's choose a more cinematic video instead where I'm holding a camera. So I simply upload the entire video to the Kyber website and then you just want to usually describe what happens in the frame. So in this case, I just describe it as a guy with an orange baseball hat holding a camera. And once again, I pick that cool graffiti preset. I keep the transform slider to a low value as I wanted to closely resemble the actual video that I shot. And once again, I just downloaded the file and I will show you the final result of the original and animated video blended together. Keep in mind, they will give you a couple of free credits initially, but once you use them up, they will start to charge you. So I personally haven't really used it extensively and I'm also not paid or associated by this app but I guess it could be something to consider if you want to make lots of AI animated videos. Either way, let me know what you think of this and if you want to learn more about cool AI functions for photo and video that I dig up on the internet all the time, you can check out my playlist here or subscribe to the channel. And with that said, I hope you have a great day and I will catch you guys in one of my next videos.